Hey guys, how are you doing? Today is April 28th, Friday. Um, just by looking at the um, screen, then you will see that we want to talk about Meta. Just announced the finance report. And we will, we will focus on the stock price, right? It rises a lot. It rises a lot, a lot. The lowest for Meta is 90 US dollar. And then now rise it nearly two times. But we take a look on the finance figures. There is no in, nearly no increase in revenue. But the net income increased a lot. Then from last quarter, where did the money come from? Right, where did the money come from? And if by then is it a healthy is it healthy for us to we invest in Meta or we called it before Facebook. So today we will take a look on the figures, right? And our Falcon portfolio have been maintaining um, 59%. 59% uh, for nearly 51 months. That means a little bit more than four years, right? Um, if you guys have any stock that want me to analyze or any subjects that I can touch, then you can leave your message under the YouTube or you can directly email to me by US Stock Market Weekly at gmail.com. This is our cover. No increase in revenue, but net income increase. So where did the money come from? We will take a look on the figures. This is funny, right? Because yesterday the um, GDP um, increment of US is 1.1. It's quite lower than expected, but you can see that the market after the first Republic Bank issues been right, not so serious, then you can see that Dow Jones rise for 500 points more. So now the market is weird because the GDP increment is not good and then the market rise because they thinking, okay, then in um, May, that may be the last time the Fed put up the interest rate. So the market is real, right? You don't guess it, right? Don't guess it. Never guess the market. Just follow the follow the value. And Nasdaq also rise at nearly three hundred points yesterday. Then we stop back to twelve thousand. And this is our Falcon 350,000 portfolio. We've been um, four years, right? Four years. And only on 2021, we only have the increment of 1%. And then last year, we've been dropped at 17%. And then this year, we've been increased by 19%, right? So our portfolio performance is 59%. And this is the U.S. 10-year Treasury yield. You can see that really no difference. We go through some headlines. Okay. Um, in, in the first quarter, the projected or the census U.S. GDP um, rise rate, rate rise should be about 2%. And now it's you can see that only 1.1%, right? That means the market is slowing down. There is a little bit recession than really happened in US and the market should down, right? But no, the market rise more than 500 points for Dow, Jones, for Dow Jones because a lot of people think that next month after putting up a quarter of the interest rate, then there is the last time for Fed to put up the interest rate. So the market rise up or not, it's um, weird for us to guess anything of the market at any time, right? And then we can see that the inflation was higher than expected in that quarter, right? With the purchase price index rising 4.2% against the 3.7% estimated, forget about this, right? Okay, for China, then we learned that on top of ASMLs, um, 
vaccine restrictions, then Japan is restricting. Japan is restricting the export of the um, chip making gel to China, and then one day before Germany also said we have to restrict it. We know that in the whole world there is only two countries can make it. One is Japan, one is Germany. Maybe also maybe even U.S. cannot make it. So if like that, there is no way that China's even though China can get some machine from the ASML for the lower rent, but if no, if no chip making gel, then even you get the machine, no use. You cannot make any cutting edge chips, right? So the reality is like that, right? And Intel reports the largest quarterly loss in the company history. Right? In last year, everyone, chip making, has a tough year. Um, Taiwan Semiconductor, um, NVIDIA, AMD, Micron, everyone, right? But Intel get the largest quarterly loss in the company history, right? So it scared me then Intel really spend a lot and then get too little. That's what I criticized Intel before. Don't touch their stock. Right? Do not touch their stock. And it also scared me that Amazon stock dips yesterday. Why? Google rise up. Microsoft rise up. And then why only Amazon dips, right? Because she said that it's uncertain, their cow outlook overshadow is very really big. It scared me because AWS is the biggest one in the US. Right? What happened? I don't know. Maybe their market share is bitten by Google, by Microsoft, then we don't see any selling points from Amazon anymore. Right? The Prime is um, launched a long time ago. AWS, we know that, right? For um, e-commerce, then everyone is doing on that, not only Amazon. There's all, all over the world, right? And then all over the world is cutting the staff, something like that. Then we do not see any um, new selling point from Amazon, right? AI from Microsoft is heavily competing with Google, but Amazon is very silent not taking part on it or taking part on anything so we have to if you have amazon then take a look on that right so we talk about matter that means previously facebook um i'm not using facebook i have the account but i never use it i only use the whatsapp in hong kong right so we take a look on the matter stock price history. You can see that after the stock price dipped at ninety dollar, that dip is ninety dollar, ninety US dollar. Then it strongly bounced back, right? More than one hundred percent, right? Ninety to two hundred and thirty eight yesterday night, and then the highest one is nearly four hundred, not four hundred, very close to four hundred. So. Does it mean matter improved that get the um, advertisement income once again? Right, we will take a look on that. So we take a look on um, the figures just launched for the first three months of matter. If we compare the same revenue for the same quarter one year before, you can see that the revenue only increased it for three percent. And the cost and expense, and the cost and expense been increased at for ten percent. And you can see if compare the same season, the same time with one year before, the net income decreased at by twenty four percent. By twenty four percent, and you can still see that the effective tax rate of one year before is only sixteen. This year is twenty-two. It doesn't matter because it depends on the range of your 
of your income, but they are nearly the same, nearly the same, right? So that means one year, one year before, the tax may be higher than this year, but no matter what, then it will not be 24%, right? That means no matter what, the net income is lower than one year before, but their revenue is very close to each other. So we take a look on the advertising income. You can see that in the first quarter, it's less than one quarter before. Less than that, right? And then it's very similar to the second quarter of 2022. Family app, similar. Reality Labs revenue, even lower, more than half. You see that, yes, that is in that is in median. 0 0.33 billion US dollar compared to 0 0.7 in last quarter and compared to 0 0.285 two quarters before. Then we can see that the total revenue is less than one quarter before, but it's close to close to two quarters before. So um, the lower one is the operation and then the operation margin. But you can see that the operation operating margin increased. Now it's 25%. One, one quarter, two quarter before is 20%. What happened? Why the operating margin increased it? So we take a look on the numbers. For the family daily active people, increased it, right? But just very, very little. You can see that one quarter before, 2.96 billion people, family daily active, and then in the first quarter of this year is only 3.02, less than 1%, even less than 1%, right? So for percentage, it's the same, 79%. And the Facebook daily active user, not counted in family, just the active users. You can see that nearly the same. Right. Two billion. Two point zero three seven billion people compared to one quarter before two billion exactly. So less than about one percent, something like that. Right. Increase more than one percent or one point something. Right. And very important is the average revenue per user. That means each user how much they pay. You can see that for the word wow, for the word wow, decreased 9.62 US dollar per active user pay. But one quarter before is $10. Two quarter before, 9.41. Okay, for US and Canada, decreased it. Even less than two quarters before. Europe decreased it. A little bit more than two quarters before. For Asia Pacific, maybe include Hong Kong, also less, also less than two quarters before. So for the rest of the world, nearly the same. That means the income, um, the active user is not decreasing, but also the money they spend is also not increasing. So where did the money come from? That is the earning recap. Revenue up 3% only. And the earnings per share compared to one year before the same quarters, down 19%, 1919. Free cash flow down 18.8. .8. Cash from operation down 0 0.5. This is this is okay, right? Because the cash from operation only down 0 0.5. So we can see the net income, if compared to one year before, one year before, down. But if compared to one quarter before or two quarter before, increase that. The key thing is, Mark Zuckerberg is axing the staff, continuously axing the staff, cutting the staff, right? Firing the staff, of course. When he fired the staff, then he need to pay for the benefits 
according to the U.S. regulation. But it doesn't matter. The staff is less and less. So a lot of a lot of money is being saved. At salary, maybe air conditioning, maybe closing some um, closing some uh, office, right? Use less electricity, something like that. A lot, a lot of things. It's not affecting the cost of revenue, just affecting for the staff or some fixed expenditure. So that is the reason why the net income being increased. But does it healthy? It's not very healthy. The capital expenditure, that is a quarter, that is annual. But if you um, multiply this by four, 100% is less than one year before. He spent less on the capital expenditure. That means Mark Zuckerberg is not catching up for the AI, right? It's not catching up for the AI. So if AI really become the trend in this year or next year, then only two guys will be very beneficial. One is Google, one is Microsoft. We can see that they have the response, right? We don't know. We never know that AI will become the mainstream of the next five years or not. Or just like what Mark Zuckerberg did before. We are. Now no one talk about we are. But EV, we still talk about EV, electric vehicle. So we never know. But the point is matter, no response. Square, no response. Amazon, no response. Only two guys have the response. One is Google, one is Microsoft. Very important. If next trend is that, then they will be the first two to be very beneficial from that, right? So the advertising revenue by user geography, we see that for all the different area, different country, different district in the world, all is decreased from one quarter before. And it's very similar than two quarters before. Right? So we can sum up um, active user not increasing, family active user not increasing, the people spend the money on the Facebook not increasing. They are just reducing the staff, cutting the staff. But also the capital expenditure is not increasing. So is it healthy um, for now? Because she has to. Because she has to. But the point is then we have to rewind back. Why did Facebook hire so many people that can be easily fired? Does that important to the revenue? Does that important to the net income? So when we think back about Warren Buffett, for the past more than half half century of Bachelor Hardaway. Anytime that you heard of Warren Buffett cutting the stuff? No. Never heard of that. Whenever you hire a staff, then you have to think that. Does it really need? So you just you're just not wasting of the money. You're putting yourself in a very risky position. So whenever you spend any any sense, it's very important that you have to think if the market be worse, or does it generate the appropriate income for you and for the shareholders? That's very important. That means matter or the other company. They only imported a lot, a lot of stuff. All right, ten thousand. Imagine ten thousand people. It's a lot of people. There's a lot of stuff. How can you only employ more than ten thousand stuff? This is fucking right. And then by cutting those, by abandon those stuff, then 
you make the net income comes up. So how many staff then? How many more staff you can you can ask, right? So that that's it will continue in the um next quarter, probably not. So where did you get your income engine? This is what we need to think, not only just by seeing the stock price rise up, right? I still will not recommend you to buy the stock of Meta. In reverse, in the contrary, I will recommend you to buy the stock of Microsoft or even the stock of Google, right? Because they are catching the trend. As a tech stock, you you need to catch the trend, right? You have to do something. Mark Zuckerberg did do something is by just cutting the people. He is doing something for remedy. Gratify of the mistake that he made before. Not only Facebook, a lot of company then they make the same mistake. Hire too much, too many people, and they think that the good time will goes on. Then it's wrong, right? So we will take a look on that, right? We will continue to um, update my. Um, readers on the update news of um, Facebook, Microsoft, or um, Google, or even any talk stock, right? Any tech stock, right? So thanks for watching, and then uh, please give us a like, comment, or share to your friends, and then please help to push the to push the subscribe button, and then press the bell icon. So whenever we have new video uploaded, then you will get the update, or you will get the um, notification. From YouTube. So I hope everyone have a very peaceful weekend. See you next week. Bye bye.